In the next 40 years, the Earth will need to accommodate nearly 3 billion more people. That's more than the current population of the whole of Europe, the whole of Africa, North and South America combined. How can we be so sure of this prediction? Well, we know that there are more than a billion teenagers alive today, and most of those teenagers will have children of their own and live long enough to become grandparents. And that's all that needs to happen for there to be nine billion humans alive in 2050. It's not people having huge families. It's just a lot of people doing what humans naturally do. We also have a good idea of where these additional people will live. There are likely to be 10 million more people in Britain, 100 million more in the United States of America. India will overtake China to become the most populous country in the world. The population of some countries will shrink. Japan, Russia, Germany and much of Eastern Europe. The places that will experience the most rapid growth are also the least developed countries in the world. Afghanistan's population will double. Most of sub-Saharan Africa will double. Niger's population is predicted to more than triple. I think everyone living through the next 50 years is going to be affected by these demographic changes wherever they are. For most of human existence, our population size was kept in check by nature, just as it is for other animals. If there's plenty of water, food and materials for shelter, a population will thrive. But when disease, famine or drought strike, life can be cut short. The history of humanity is one of overcoming these environmental limits, but it took us a very long time to achieve. On the horizontal axis here, we have time over the last 10,000 years. On the vertical axis here, we have the size of the human population uh, in billions of people. Over the last 10,000 years, in general, there's been very little change. It's a very boring picture. But from about the year 1800 onwards, you have a major increase, a very large increase in the world's population, from about 1 billion up to 7 billion today. 